Morning guys, how y'all doing today? It's been like, like a month since I've posted any actual content on here. I've been ridiculously busy with school, can't get the energy to pick up the camera and even go about my day, and the readings have been extreme. But today I really just want to take some time for me to hang out with you guys, do something that isn't the natural flow of a university school day. I have been dying to go to Hot Topic in Champlain Mall, and it's just a short bike ride away. Unfortunately, the weather does not seem to be cooperating with me on that front. Earlier this morning, I heard raindrops on my window, and even now, it does not look like it's going to be a very nice day. But the weather network does say that it's supposed to be sunny and 19 this afternoon. Fingers crossed that's actually going to hold true because that is excellent biking weather, especially in the fall. That's what I've got planned for today. I hope you guys will stick around, and if for some reason you aren't subscribed already, I would love it if you would. I am working to spread a message through this platform that people should be encouraged to embrace what they are truly passionate about, regardless of what other people say. If it's not the cool thing to be into, that really shouldn't matter. What matters is if you love something, you should be able to express it to the world, and you're going to find people who are just as excited about that thing as you are. So let's get out of here once I finish my coffee, and we're going to have a fun time. Instead of biking in the gloomy coldness that is not a sunny afternoon like the weather network said it would be, uh, my friend India and, well, India and Franny had to come to the mall anyway, so I gotta live with them. You said this was your first time driving? In... Not the first time driving. But, oh, okay, as I was gonna say, if it was, then I should have been terrified. But I wasn't, and we are alive, so I'm gonna pop in a Hot Topic, see what's around, and try not to spend hundreds of dollars, because I'm <laughs> kind of scared I could do that. I've managed to track down a couple of things that I knew that I wanted to pick up. But because of that buy one, get one t-shirt deal that they have going on, I'm very tempted to go for something else. Because like there are some nice designs here. I'm looking at maybe uh, just one of these simple Hogwarts things or like Mischief Managed. I already have a Mischief Managed sweater, so I don't really know if I need one of those. Or I could get a beret. Sky's the limit, right? I'm back. I got some goodies. Thankfully, I didn't spend an excess amount at Hot Topic, but I definitely spent an adequate amount. And instead of making an entire new video to share with you guys what exactly I got, I figured I'd unbag my stuff for you right now. 
When I went in, I was originally looking for a Time Turner necklace, since the one I did have I gave to Sarah Jane a while back, but they doubled as watches, and I already have this Deathly Hallows watch. The battery did die over the weekend, but that's a very simple fix. And as I was looking through the selection, I did find Salazar Slytherin's Locket Horcrux. This was the only one they had. There were some other things like Deathly Hallows symbols or Nimbus 2000s or Hedwigs. How could I pass up on this when there's only one of them left? And what's really cool, besides the fact that it has a serpent in the form of an S for Salazar Slytherin, is that it actually opens up so I can store something inside, whether that be a memorable photo or possibly my one ring to rule them all that I do have. Definitely a great find for my first time at Hot Topic. I suspect I'll be wearing this a lot when I'm not alternating between my Triforce necklace and my Deathly Hallows necklace and of course my cross. This is a great addition to the collection. Another couple of items that caught my eye as I was looking throughout the merchandise were these Harry Potter journals. I've been looking for new journals for my Dungeons and Dragons campaigns that I'm in for quite a while and I don't think there's anything more perfect for me than to have Harry Potter on my fantasy adventures. Plus, on the back side, there are this list of spells to cast from the Harry Potter universe, and I just figured this out as I stopped by my friend Danielle's dorm room, that the, um, the ruins you see there for each spell, it's actually how to cast them. As you can see, there's a line that show, that ends with an arrow. That's actually the wand movement you'd have to do in order to cast the spell. For prime example, Wingardium Leviosa, you have the swish and flick right out of the franchise. I'm gonna be able to master some new spells that I've known for a little while, but now I can actually cast them. Well, cast them. And the last few items in this Hot Topic unbagging, even though I've only gone through a few items already, are these Harry Potter t-shirts. I got the Sirius Black Wanted poster from the third movie. I wasn't so sure that I was going to get this one just because I was looking for a lot of Gryffindor things, but it's Sirius Black. And that is just an iconic poster for the Wizarding World. So I'm really glad I was able to get this. And then I've got a couple of Gryffindor shirts since I am a Gryffindor, or at least I was in the first time I got sorted on Pottermore. So that's what I'm sticking with. Come at me, Hufflepuffs. I'm just kidding, I love you guys. My fiance's a Hufflepuff. Please let me hang out by the kitchen with you. This first Gryffindor shirt has the lion insignia in addition to some of the characteristics of a Gryffindor. You have bravery and determination along the circle of the emblem. I'd say that's pretty accurate to my personality. I'm not afraid to speak my mind or step out from the crowd and when I want something, or I have my mind set on a task, I do it, and I do it to the best of my abilities because I am determined. There's really no other way to say it. And the second shirt that I got is this long sleeve shirt, in fact, Gryffindor Quidditch. I have been wanting to learn more about the sport of Quidditch here actually in the Muggle world since there are entire leagues and teams for Quidditch. And the fact that it's long sleeve is actually really nice since I don't have too many of those with me at the apartment right now. So very glad that I was able to pick up these few shirts, the locket, and a couple of journals. With all of that said and done, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for joining me on my first magical trip to Hot Topic. Did you guys see anything in what I bought that you would buy for yourself or for a friend? 
And if you have bought any other Hot Topic Harry Potter merchandise, let me know down in the comments what you got. Also, what Hogwarts house you are. I know I've asked this a number of times in some of my other Harry Potter videos, but it's always neat to hear who gets sorted into which house on Pottermore or any other of the online Harry Potter quizzes, although Pottermore is the official one. And see the diversity within this channel's audience. I really like getting to know people from different backgrounds, different ways of looking at life. That's really what fuels this channel and the community that I've been trying to make for the past seven years now. It's crazy that I've actually reached that point. If you do want to check out any of the other videos that I have here on the channel, you can click the annotations that are on I think now it's the just on the side of the screen there. As always guys, don't be afraid or discouraged to embrace what you are truly passionate about because you have no idea who in the world you can make an amazing connection with. Some might even say magical.